Hello grade 2 students. How are you today? We are now in chapter 4, lesson 4.1, break apart once to add. Let's look at the objective. Our objective for today, find a sum by breaking apart a one digit add-in to make a two digit add-in a multiple of 10. Let's begin with listen and draw which is on page 237. Glenn read 25 books about animals and 7 books about space. How many books did he read? Let's make a model to see how many books he read. Let's use 10 blocks and 1's blocks. A model for 25 is 2 tens and 5 ones. A model for 7 is 7 ones. We want to add the two amounts. If there are enough ones blocks, we can make a tens number. Put 5 of the 7 ones with the model for 25. Then when you exchange the 10 ones blocks, you have 3 tens. 3 tens meaning 30. When you include all of the blocks together, you have 3 tens and 2 ones. The number is 32. So, Glenn read 32 books. Let's look at an example of model and draw. Let's break apart ones to make a tens number when we add. Here you can see the sum is 37 plus 6. Look at the ones digit in the number 37. How many more ones are needed to make 37 a tens number? Three more ones are needed to make 37 a tens number. Break apart 6 to get 3 ones. What is the number that was made? Select to show your answer. Very good, you all said 40. Now we need to finish adding, which is, what is the sum of 40 plus 3? Can you select your correct answer, children? Very good. It is 43. Now let's look at share and show. Open page number 238. Draw quick pictures. Break apart ones to make a 10. Then add and write the sum. The first one. 15 plus 7. How many more ones are needed to make 15 a tens number? 5 more ones are needed to make 15 a tens number. So we are going to break apart 7 to get 5 ones. Now we need to finish adding. So we will have 22 as an answer, which means we have two tens and two ones. What about 26 plus 5? 26 has two tens and six ones, and 5 has five ones. Now, how many more ones are needed to make 26 a tens number? Very good. We need four more ones. So once you make 26 a tens number, it becomes a 30 and you have the remaining one which is 31. 
Now open page number 239 and you will solve questions 5 to 10 on your own. On the same number which is page 239 we have a think smarter question. Let's read. Bruce sees 29 oak trees and 4 maple trees at the park. Then he sees double the number of pine trees as maple trees. How many trees does Bruce see? Now children I always tell you don't try to solve all at once. Let's break the problem into smaller parts. What is the first part telling you? That Bruce sees 29 oak trees and 4 maple trees. So in the beginning let's find out how much is 29 plus 4. Very good. You get a 33. Now the second part of the question. Then he sees double the number of pine trees as maple trees. So how many maple trees he has seen? He has seen 4. So what is the double of 4? Very good. It's 8. So keeping 33 the way it is, you're going to add another 8. And then you will get 41 as an answer. Very good. So how many trees does Bruce see in all? He sees 41 trees. Excellent. Now page number 241, please complete number 1 to 10 as homework. So children, how does breaking apart a number make it easier to add? When you break apart a number, you add some of the ones to the greater addend to make another 10. It is easier to add when one of the addends is a tens number. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I really want to thank you for your dedication and hard work. You all are doing a fantastic job. I wish you a good day ahead. Bye bye.